we really appreciate it, you know, that CockroachDB has uh, support for change feed. I'm Vlad Sidorenko. I'm a senior software engineer at Netflix, working at data movement and processing platform team. We're building a product called Data Mesh, which might be confusing to people, but it's not an industry data mesh, it's just Netflix's data mesh. There's a name collision there, which allows you to basically get the data from a lot of different places, transform it along the way, and output it to a lot of different places. CockroachDB has support for distributed transactions and kind of multiple regions by default, which is something uh, which is great and something we are looking for in other databases, which makes it more reliable and more scalable, uh, kind of out of the box. The volume of data, it's, it's very different. Um, as an example, I know that w one of the tables that we are currently onboarding on Data Mesh has a little bit over 10 terabytes of data and a little bit over 7 billion of rows. So backfilling it has been uh, pretty nice and kind of uh, tested the limits. Working with CockroachDB has been pretty great and in our team I am basically uh, one of the people responsible for the what we call a CockroachDB connector, which is responsible for taking the data from CockroachDB and into the data mesh system. So we really appreciate it, you know, that CockroachDB has uh, support for change feeds kind of built in, you know, and it's been pretty easy to get a CDC stream out of it without much of a hassle. We've also really appreciated, you know, just working with the Cockroach Labs team, and we've been in close contact with them for, you know, quite a long time, and it's been great to be able to have a direct chat with developers of the thing that you are working with, and be able to resolve all the questions pretty quickly.